Test one, two. Test one, two. Oh, uh-huh. It is on this time as well. <laughs> Welcome back to No Borders for Brothers Podcast. I'm JT, and I'm here with my partner in crime and brother, Grant. What's up, guys? Today, we are going to be finding out if we're a good parent, or if we're going to be a good parent. Yeah. So we have prepared three quizzes here. We're going to run through each question together. And uh, I believe each question has like about four different answers, like multiple choice style. And uh, we're going to run through the different choices for answers and what each of us will pick. And at the end, we'll find out who's going to be the uh, better parent. And I feel like the best way to probably do this is not influence each other's answers. Like, don't try to convince the other person. Like... Once we have an answer, we got to go with that because that will be our natural yeah. instinct as parents as well. So we're going to see who is the better parent as well. <laughs> All right. I like this. <laughs> so whatever your initial answer is, just, just go with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe we'll, we'll say our answer on three. Like we'll click our answer and we'll say which one we picked. Like on like, you know? Exactly. Uh, okay. I like it. Uh, I'll read off the first question. So obviously we're doing the same fucking quizzes. Um, so your four-year-old has just said a really bad word. What do you do? All right. The first option is tell them it's the wrong thing to do. And if they say it again, they will be punished. Uh, next thing is tell them it's a bad word. Option number three is you say nothing or congratulate them. <laughs> <laughs> number four <laughs> number four you spank them hard and put them in timeout alright um, uh, you ready yeah okay okay uh, well I am gonna go with tell them it's a bad word like it's a bad word like I don't know I'm, I'm gonna go with say nothing <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, like... I don't care about swear, man. Well, I don't either, but that's why, I, like, I'm not going to punish them, really. Yeah. Like, I, I'm just going to tell them it's a bad word, and if they don't get that, then, like... That's true. Uh, then yeah. th- that's that, I guess. All right. Uh, uh, you're... Oh, yeah. You're on an outing, and your six-year-old is misbehaving, even when you ask them to warn them for the tenth time. What do you do? You tell them they have pushed you too far and tell them they are going to be punished. You take them to the car and ask them to sit there for 10 minutes. If they continue to misbehave, you assume them uh, you assume them home and spank them. Uh, you go home. You do nothing. You pull their pants down right there and spank them 10 times on the rear. Then you march them back to the car, make them sit there for half an hour. If they continue to misbehave, you take them home, put them over your lap, and hit them 30 times on the bare bottom with a hairbrush. Okay. Uh, I got mine. I feel like this one's kind of easy. Really? Um, what you got? What you got? Okay. Uh, uh, what you pick? I went, you just go home. Ah, uh, so but I'm going to go with the... I wanted to go with them, the first one. Yeah, so I'm going with the first one. I'm going to go, you tell them that they've pushed you too far. They're going to be punished. Uh, Tim the car, and they sit there for 10 minutes. So, yeah. So essentially, like a timeout. Yeah, but like I didn't like, like the last. The same, part. Then, well, like yeah, I'm going more for the first part than the last. Part. Yeah. I don't think I'm really See, that's what I fucking kids. But. That's what I would. That that's what I would have done, but like, without the spanking, it is yeah. like bring them to the car, ca- trying to calm them down and shit, and yeah. yeah but, I like the car to calm down if they fucking. I mean, if they miss pay out parties, fucking take some of their shit away. Yeah, uh, you get no toys, motherfucker. No TV. <laughs> <laughs> All okay. right. Your seven-year-old child has just fallen over and skinned their knee. What do you do? You tell a child to get back up and put up with it. Or you will help your child in getting up and put a bandaid on their knee. Three, you scold them for being so clumsy. Four, you give them a piggyback ride home. When you get there, you put a bandaid on, on their knee. Then you come for them. Okay. <sighs> All right, I got it. I got it. I'm going with the first one. You well, just tell your child to get up. And, yeah, is, yeah, and put up with it. That's how you just yeah, write. That's so what I'm, I used to do. Yeah, exactly. I'm the first one as well, but at the same time, as a parent, you still gotta like, make sure like the shit ain't gonna get infected, obviously, and shit like that. But like most of the part is just me them putting up with it. Yeah, and, like that. That's so the way I was always taught. The two. Yeah, but I did pick the same one as you. Okay. 
Uh, what is a better punishment for a teenager? Grounding and extra chores? Nothing. Spanking on the bare bottom or in public? Grounding, extra chores, yelling at, etc. Spanking on the bare bottom at home, alone, grounding, extra chores, etc. All right, this one's easy. Yeah, grounding and grounding extra chores. And extra chores. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not touching my teenager's fucking ass, dude. That's weird. Yeah, I'm just not really into fucking. I'm not gonna be spanking my kid. Yeah. Like, um, your child's report card is all D's and E's. Your child, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> your child is unhappy with this and is crying, as they should. Uh, <laughs> number one, you tell your child sometimes this happens in life, and if they get C's and B's next term, you give them twenty bucks. The fuck? Tell them it is okay this time and do better. And if they do this again, they will be punished. Uh, say they are dumb. Punish them with no questions asked. Um. All these suck. Yeah, I feel like my answer, like my answer, would be different. Yeah, same. I'm gonna go All with right. the twenty dollars one. Like, Let's see, I, it, I, I, I get where they're going with it. Like positive reinforcement. Like, hey, if you do better next time, like, hey, we'll go get ice cream or some bullshit. You know. Like, see, I'm gonna go with the tell them that it's okay this time, and that they have to do better, and they do this bad again, then they will be punished because. I, if you're getting D's and E's, like you're just not fucking, like you're just not doing it. You know, yeah. you're just not even doing. The I didn't even work. know E's were a fucking thing. I didn't either. Yeah, but if like, I'm not gonna pay him twenty bucks to get B's and C's. Like the fuck. I mean, that's bad. A's, maybe I'll give you twenty bucks. But I feel like my actual answer would be like, yo, like, do we need to get you like a tutor? Like, do we need to get you help? Yeah. Like, what do you, like, what do you need to help like to better succeed? Yeah, exactly. Like those answers were kind of all shit. Yeah. All right, we're trying to fly through these. We're fucking three of these. <laughs> I, it, we're only at seven minutes. It's not too bad. No, uh, we have six out of fourteen questions for this one. Fair enough. What is a better thing to use for spanking? What the fuck? Uh, Why is this almost spanking? I, I don't know. Spanking fetish? What's going on? Here? Uh, hand wooden spoon, hairbrush, or ping pong paddle? <laughs> <laughs> hand ping pong paddle or a slipper? Fucking chonkless hand or nothing? Oh my god. Uh, belt, hairbrush, cane, Holy stick, fuck. wooden spoon, or shoe. Hit them until they are crying hysterically or their bottom is red. Bro, there's nothing. Hand or nothing. Yeah. Oh, I kind of forgot that there was a nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to pick the slipper. <laughs> 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 I, I thought we had to pick something. I, I, missed, I missed a nothing. I'm going nothing. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> they love spanking people. Yeah. Um, you were in the toy store. Sorry, a toy shop, and your seven year old is throwing a tantrum because you're not buying a toy for them. What do you do? Tell them Santa can bring it for Christmas, or you can give them pocket money for jobs so they can save up for them themselves. Then get out of the store. Tell them no, get out of the store. If they continue, go home. Buy it for them. Smack them on the bottom twice and scold there we them go. for winning. For there it is again. Why twice? Like, specifically, two times you got to hit them on the ass. Yeah. Or, okay. Um,. I feel like this one's pretty easy. I don't know. Uh, what'd you pick? Uh, like, tell them Santa can bring it for Christmas or give them pocket money for jobs. I I, I kind of like the whole job thing. Is like, hey, like save up for this. It kind of builds like money, money skills and stuff like that. You know. See if that didn't have the Santa thing, it was just like give them pocket, like tell them they can earn it and type yeah. of thing. Then yeah. I would say yes to that one. I just went straight no, tell them no, and get out of the store. They continue to go home. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't really care about the Santa part, but like, yeah, the, I want to be like, oh, like, don't worry, Santa's gonna get for the next thing you know everything he fucking wants. He's gonna be expecting that Christmas, and if I don't fucking get it, it's like the end of the fucking world, you know? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So that's why I was just like, if it was just give them money, like, uh, for doing like jobs and stuff like that, like chores or whatever, then I'll be fine with that. But I wouldn't tell them no and get out of the store. Yeah. Okay, you're 15... Oh, wait, what? My bad, my bad. I was just kind of... I was on a roll. Uh, your 15-year-old teenager has wagged school and graffitied a wall. What do you do? I've never heard of this I'm term, sorry, yeah, wagged I'm school. Like ditch school. Yeah, I'm, I'm, su I'm okay. supposing, yeah. Uh, back up from your mic, you bastard. What? I'm Are hearing it. Yeah. Yeah, it's leaving it. <laughs> <laughs> just leaning it every single day. I uh, don't <laughs> um, you ground them for two weeks, make them do schoolwork, they miss that day, and make them clean the wall. You make them clean the wall, you clean the wall for them, and then act like nothing has happened. You make them clean the wall, ground them for three weeks, spank them, give them extra chores, and make them do schoolwork, he missed that day. 
always with a spanking on any of them. Any of them has yeah. to have a spanking option. I'm going to go with just ground for two weeks, make them do the schoolwork they missed, and make them clean the wall. Yeah, I'm taking that too. That seems like the most I don't, I don't option. think we need to spank them. Yeah, no. Not when they're 15 <laughs> either. That's weird. Yeah, that sounds like, that's just weird. Like, yeah. At that age, they might enjoy it. Like, you don't fucking know. Like, exactly, bro. It's fucked up. <laughs> Your child is failing a subject at school. What do you do? You tell them they need to improve and help with and help them with that subject. You hire them a tutor. You do nothing. You punish them. All right, well, that's easy. Yeah. Get them a tutor. Yeah, get them a tutor. I didn't finish high yeah. school. I don't know how to help. <laughs> <laughs> your child, yeah, you're fucking retarded. <laughs> your child wants to have a birthday party, but on the same day he has a piano lesson. What do you do? You rearrange the piano lesson to a different day. You tell them to make the birthday party a different day. You let them. You never let them have a birthday party in the first place. Oh, God, that's depressing. Yeah, that's rough, dude. Um, um, I, I, I mean, you rearrange the piano lesson to a different day. Yeah, that's how I'm going. Yeah. I mean, like, that's easy, I feel like. But feel right. like how often is, like, piano lessons, like, I mean, how, so how often is, like, a birthday party actually on the birthday? Not very often, honestly. Like, what if it's, like, a Wednesday? <laughs> I feel like kids have it on their birthdays a lot, but when you get more into teenagers and stuff, uh, it happens on like whatever gotcha. day you're free. All right. What ages do you spank your children at? God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. What? <laughs> Until they learn to behave. It's gonna beat the damn kids. From about four to 12, never spank my children. From when they're toddlers to the end of teenagehood. That's 18, mind you. Holy shit. I mean, I never spank my children. Yeah, I'm going to okay. go with that one, too. Yeah. Uh, your teenager wants an Xbox for Christmas, but it costs $400. What do you do? You buy them an Xbox with one game. You tell them not to play it until their homework is done. Uh, you don't buy them an Xbox. You buy them the Xbox, but you tell them they must buy the games with their own money. Not only do you buy them the Xbox, but you buy them the newest games to go with it. Well, this is very, like, dependent on other things. Yeah. I was given a PS3 for Christmas or whatnot. Like, <laughs> so, like, I feel like you're probably gifted a fucking shit ton of stuff as well. I'm going to go with uh, the until the homework is done type thing. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's Christmas. I don't buy my kid a fucking Xbox. I want to buy my kid an well, Xbox. Like. It, okay, this is on Christmas Day. Fuck. What? No, they just want, a, they just want an Xbox for Christmas. Okay. So you're just getting them a Christmas, like a Christmas gift. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't see the problem buying your kid Xbox for their Christmas gift. Yeah, me either. I mean, I was gonna say either the first one or the fourth one, where it says not only you buy them the Xbox, but you buy them the newest games to go with it, because it is Christmas. I don't want to make them do homework on Christmas, like. Yeah, no, I don't think it's like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, your kid has got the cane at school. What do you do? It's all about hitting kids. Like, yeah, well, where is this fucking taking place here? Fucking Russia or some shit. Uh, find out what they did and punish them if it is serious. Make them sit in timeout for 20 minutes. Yell at the teacher for caning them. Spank them on the same spot they got hit until they cry. I mean, I'm yelling at the teacher. Don't lay hands yeah, on I'm my a, fucking kid. My fucking kid, like, gets hit by a fucking teacher? Like, yeah. I'm gonna go fucking hit the teacher. Yeah, that is fucking crazy. <laughs> Your thirteen-year-old just taught back. Uh, what do you do? Uh, uh, tell them to watch their attitude. Ignore them. Tell them if they do it again, they're grounded. Punish them. So I spank them. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go if they do it again, then they're grounded. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty easy. Uh, okay. Uh, right, results. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm a great parent. You know. Is that what it said? Yeah, it says you're a great parent. Well done. You make an excellent parent. Your child will grow up to be a good person. Oh. Yeah, you're being too easy on your kids. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you need to tighten up and be a little more strict. If you don't change your ways, you'll lose your kids and they'll drift away from you. God damn. Is too easy? I, see, so I, I feel like that's the exact opposite. Yeah, if I feel like I'm more strict, then I'm going to lose my kids. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. I'm a great parent, though. Thanks. All um, right. From fucking too easy, which I guess I kind of probably could have guessed that. <laughs> on to BuzzFeed. All right. About only seven uh, questions on this one, so it's pretty fast. Oh, I don't start nothing. 
No, it's just you scroll down. Okay. Your child comes in with a cut on their knee. What do you do? Freak out immediately, scold them, put a bandage on it, let them have ice cream and make them feel better. Don't want to put a bandage I'm, on it, bro. Yeah, I'm putting a bandage on that shit. I got you. Yeah, I don't can't get sake. infected. Yeah. Your child has an important soccer game coming up. What do you do? Make sure they wear all the protective gear. Uh, I'll be there helping set up and cheering them on. Take them out to celebrate regardless if they win or lose. Make sure the new sports gear doesn't get ruined. Um... I mean, all of these are in different parts of the game. Yeah, I feel like you can probably do a couple of these, no? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm going with I'll be there helping, setting up, and cheering on. Like, I'll go take them out regardless if they win or lose. Yeah, I mean, I was going to do that. Like, I, was, I was probably going to do the help, cheer them on, shit like that, too. Yeah. But I was I'm trying to be different. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, what dinner will you prepare frequently? Chicken, potatoes, and lots of ve- veggies, spaghetti, meatballs, anything my kid want, as long as it's healthy, nice fries with ketchup drinks. Ooh, I'm just going to go with what I do right now, and that's spaghetti and meatballs. I'm going to go with anything my kid wants, as long as it's healthy. Your um, child comes home with a significant other. What do you do? Oh. Tell them to get out, get, tell them to get them out of my house. I'll ask lots of questions and make sure they're being responsible. Make them feel at home, but not too at home. Get really excited and make a good first impression. So, um, tell me to go to my house. Obviously not. Uh, I'm just going to yeah, just pick you guys up. Never mind. I was going to discuss each one. I'm going to do right, make a good impression. That's what I'm going to do, too. Yeah. So, you tell me to go to your house. Obviously, they're going to fucking run away. Yeah. Make them feel at home, but not too at home. That's just weird. You should always feel at home when you're home. Yeah. Um. Uh, it's lots of questions. Make them sure they're being responsible. Like, that's just sure you want to make sure they're being responsible, but like you don't want to be too fucking asking too much, you know? Yeah. yeah. So I'll be excited to make a good first impression. Uh, what is your family tradition? Safe indoor activities as a family for playtime, family football game every sports season. Uh, I'd have annual traditions for holidays, game night with snacks and movies after. I'm going to do game night. I mean, that's I like a few of these. Yeah, I feel like yours would be football. Uh, I went game night. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, finally, what is your nighttime routine? Bedtime stories, a lot of fussing with bath time and pajamas, tuck them into bed, lights at 8 p.m. I'm going to go bedtime stories. I'm going to tuck them into bed. Yeah. What'd you get? All right. I'm the fun parent. Same, you know, bro. You're going to be the coolest parent around. You'll pack the best snacks at really fun parties. You know all the latest slang. All the kids on the blog will wish they had a parent like you. You know what? I feel like that's what the other one was saying, just in different words. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. And the last one. By marriage.com, will I be a good parent? Okay. So, so far the conclusion is that I'm laid back and you're just you're just right yeah i'm supposedly too laid back and you're you're doing good um how many children uh would like to get what the fuck they were that awfully yeah um how how many children would you like to have i'm assuming yeah um Uh, okay yeah it says none None. just one (laughs) many or you don't know like why is there like not like a range? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick. I don't I'm gonna know. Go many, I'm gonna go many. I guess. I just want like two kids. I just want two. Yeah. Well. So I'm just gonna go. I don't know. Uh, will you try to become your child's best friend? Yes, just a little bit, since tough love saves lives. No, or maybe. Um, I'm gonna go just a little bit. That's be a fine line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go yes. I don't know. Like, uh, it has to be a fine line. Like, we're gonna be like I agree. Best friends, I agree. But yeah, I want my kid to trust me. Exactly. I want them to trust me and be able to have fun. But like when I'm serious, I want them to know I'm fucking serious, not just like oh, I'm like, you're my best friend type shit. Like I have to listen. Yeah. Uh, would you encourage your child to move out once they turn eighteen? Yes. Depends on the child's wish, best options, and circumstances. You don't know what to say. You don't want any kids to begin with. It depends on the child's wish, best options, yeah. circumstances, bro. If we're broke as fuck, then like exactly. Yeah. Well, it's just like yeah, I don't know. If that's what you want to do. Then that's what you want to do. Yeah. Would you finance your kid's first car? Yes. No. Maybe you have to think about it. 
Um, maybe. It all depends. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'll have to think about it. Yeah. It has so, to like. It depends, you know. Exactly. What, what kind of situation am I in? What kind of kid are they? Like, uh, would you save up for your university for your kid? Yes, we'll try. If you got no idea, no. I go. We'll try. And- I'm gonna go. Yes. So I'm still fucking paying off like school. Like, it's just the most annoying thing ever. Yeah. Especially when like other kids are like, "Fuck yeah, my parents just gave me this much shit like that." So I didn't fucking get shit. <laughs> exactly. Uh, what additional activities should you your kid get after school before they become a teenager? Martial arts, public speaking, arts. That's one category. Okay. Uh-huh. So martial arts and public speaking seems very fucking different, but it's yeah. fine. Um, science, you don't know. You're not interested. Fucking the first one, bro. My yeah, kids, my what... kids gonna be fucking a martial yeah, artist, a... president of an art museum. Yeah, all right? well, he's gonna speak fucking very well. While he's kicking your ass. Yeah. How much money would you spend on a scholarized toddler? What the fuck does that even mean? Not a single fucking clue. <laughs> wait, wait, scholarized. Yeah, what what you scholarize? What the fuck is that? Uh, it, the meaning of scholarity is the scat- status of a scholar. Okay, so like, what do you mean? This is a really fucking smart toddler or some shit. I guess so. That's like, why do I have to spend forty k on them? Yeah, fucking. I don't. Least part I, of, they should be I, the one making the fucking money. Yes, it's about forty k, <laughs> more than forty k. You don't know or nothing. I'm gonna go. I don't know, man. Like I don't even know what the fucking means. Fucking nothing. Fuck that shit. Yeah. <laughs> don't be too. Don't be too smart. <laughs> How much money would you spend yearly on a toddler? About twenty thousand. More than twenty thousand. You don't know. No money. I, I the make, fuck. I, I just spent twenty k on a fucking toddler. I make like twenty thousand a year. Like, fuck that. Yeah. I mean, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't, yeah, you don't know. <laughs> How much money do you think you should spend on a newborn baby? What's this all about money, though? I, I don't know. On I'm, a newborn baby, five grand? I, I feel like five grand is pretty I, I, all right, I, I, I feel like that might be okay, actually. Cause yeah. Like, you got five like, shit out of like the crib and all that. And exactly. So I think five okay, grand, like five ten, grand. ten grand, okay. five grand, you got no idea, no money at all. Like, that's just yeah, that kid's that like, fucked. in the garbage, all right? Uh, will you communicate freely with your child? Uh, yes, of course. You'll try to. Not sure how to do that. No. Not sure how to do that. <laughs> Not too fucking sure how to do that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's the only plausible answer. Answer is yes. Um, oh, shit. What, what you did get? you get? Oh, what did you get? Uh, it is clear that you will be a great parent because you love children. You love children. Same. Spoil your nieces. <laughs> And nephews, and every time you see a young child, you really try to cheer up the child. You always uh, wanted to have a child with your current partner. That's why you're always trying for a baby. Uh, you have an idea of how <laughs> much you want to for a baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, always. <laughs> and all the type of relationship you would like to have with them as well. All right. So I feel like overall, in conclusion, uh-huh. uh, I'm probably just like we're both good parents. Cause I'm probably a little bit. More laid back. Should Just we do attached. one? Uh, should we do one more? We're only at twenty five minutes. You got one more? Uh, let's see. Let's see. I can probably come up with one real fast. Maybe, maybe even just like fuck a parenting one. Let's just throw a curveball in there. J- just a oh, fuck. What? Uh, what should I do? I don't know. Like, uh, what kind of dog you would be if you were a dog? What kind of dog <laughs> would I <laughs> be? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, what kind of dog would I be? Personality quiz. How many questions is this? Let's see. It doesn't say. Okay. We'll fucking do it anyways. Make yeah. that shit. <laughs> Alright, I'm sending it over. I feel like three is enough to tell how what, what kind of parent we're going to be. Like, now we got to find out what kind of fucking dog we're going to be. Exactly. Alright. You got it? Uh, yep. Play okay. now. Oh, this is mad. Close the ad. How would you describe your physique? <laughs> Big and tall, athletic, average, medium, petite, and slim. We're both big and tall, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, did I click it right? I think so. Conti- continue. 
How much do you like cold weather? It's fine. I love it. Average or medium or nope. And like average. I don't like the cold weather. I just like uh like dressing yeah. in cold weather clothes, you know what I mean? Yeah. I went like, nope. <laughs> You were in Canada. <laughs> How do you I, not? I don't like it. Don't mean I don't like it. I've been around it long enough to know I don't like it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, when you walk into a, a party, there are a lot of people you don't know. How do you feel? Excited to meet new people and make friends? Get me a glass of wine and I'll talk to anyone? Nervous or wishing you could just go home? A little nervous, but you're sure you'll find some interesting people. I'm going to go with a little nervous. That's how I feel. I'm or excited to meet new people, and make friends. Yeah, I'm not a party person. Like, I like parties. I know you do. <laughs> how loud are you? You hear me from across the room. I speak in almost a whisper. I speak at normal levels. I get kicked out of libraries and theaters. I feel like when I speak, I'm actually like I'm fairly quiet. I feel like I'm either at normal levels, but sometimes people have to tell me like, "Hey, you're being loud." So yeah, when you get excited, you get fucking yeah, loud. exactly. So I'm gonna go. You'd hear me from across a room. I almost have to speak almost a whisper because I feel like I'm just like chilling. I'm just I'm fairly quiet. Yeah. <laughs> How were your grades in high school? Well, okay, you know you're fucking fucked. My grades were uh, awful when I did go. So the answer is I did okay. Was definitely one of the smartest in my school. I preferred focusing my energy outside the classroom. I feel like that one's yours. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was the smartest one in my school. I was, ever, I was a perfect aunt. I'm like, I don't know, I got like 80s. What do you think that would be? I did okay. That's a B. That's okay. What's your favorite game? Clue, Twister, Go Fish, Monopoly. Uh, out of those? I had to go with Clue. <laughs> or Monopoly. Monopoly. I like Clue. I like solving Big mysteries. Monopoly guy. How often do you work out? My life is built around my obsessive workout. <laughs> my workout consists of doing a sit-up from the couch. I just exercise just not enough to look good. I love to do some exercise every day. Uh, I'm going to go with B recently. I've been on the grind lately. I think B is fair. Yeah, I love to do some exercise every day. I don't know if your B is the same as my B. Is it? What? I love to do some exercise every day. I mean, I'm always on my feet. I mean, yeah, same. I've been, like, oh. kicking ass lately. <laughs> your jo- your dream job would be a police officer, superhero, model, or spy. Interesting. Interesting choice of jobs. What are you picking? Uh, superhero. superhero, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I would be a police officer. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about food? I love all food. I'm a picky eater. I will eat until I feel sick. I like well-balanced meals. I'm pretty picky, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm picky. Yeah. How much time do you spend grooming yourself? Oh. I take care of myself, but don't spend a lot of time grooming. I started getting ready yesterday to go today. Very little. I could take a while to get ready. Uh... I'm going to say I take care of myself. I don't spend a lot of time grooming. Yeah, I'm going to do that too. So I can do it quick. Exactly. Your significant other surprises you with a beach vacation. How do you feel? I'm dreading the trip because I don't like the ocean. I don't swim. I'm looking forward to being together and having adventures there. I hate getting wet, but like the idea of cuddling like a queue on the beach. Excited. I love the beach. I'm going to go with uh, looking forward to being together. I love the beach. (laughs) 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 You have a lot of friends. I'm easy going to get along with everyone. I tend to be aloof and slow to make friends, but I am very loyal to my few friends. I am very outgoing, make lots of friends. I have a good group of friends and don't really make an effort to make new ones. I'm gonna go. I'm very outgoing, make a lot of friends. Genuinely. I'm between that one and I am easy going, get along with everyone. Okay. I feel like I get along with everyone. Yeah. I often want people to be my like friend. Mm-hmm. But I'd probably still call my friend, but like, are they like a close friend? Nah. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, what is your dream home? A quaint country cabin near the woods, a sprawling farmhouse with a- acres of land, a Chick City apartment, a house with a nice yard in the suburbs. 
I'm going farmhouse with acres of land. I'm going to go with a nice yard or a house with a nice yard in the suburbs. I like being You're a suburbs guy. Yeah, I like being close to a city but not in it. So, like, I feel like that's the way to go. Uh, what physical characteristic do people most likely notice about you first? Uh, your hair, your muscles, your nose, your strong jawline. I feel like I get comments about my hair more than any other thing on this list. Hair, just like I'd say, potentially muscles, just because of how like big I am. Yeah. Okay. Next I gotta go with hair. I went muscles, I think. Uh, take over. Uh, do you like exploring and traveling? I have severe wanderlust and bucket lists of places to see. I enjoy seeing new places, but I'm also happy doing staycations. Uh, I love traveling in style. I prefer staying home. Um, I feel like I have a lot of like places I want to see. Yeah. I'm going I with, I enjoy seeing new places, but I'm also happy doing staycations. Like, I'm happy wherever I am, honestly. Okay, what is your favorite dog movie? Uh, Best in Show, Marley and Me, Rin Tin Tin, or The Secret Life of Pets? Have you seen any of what those? If, uh, I've seen Marley and Me, so I think <laughs> I I'm, guess that's it. I'm going with The Secret Life of Pets. That movie was actually surprisingly good. I've never seen that. It's pretty good. It had <laughs> fucking. I'm pretty sure it had The Rock in it and fucking. Uh, what's the little guy? Like The Rock sidekick, oh. basically. He's a comedian. Kevin Hart? Yeah. Rock Psychic. You really called Kevin Hart the Rock Psychic. I mean, I'm just saying what I see, okay? Uh, going to work is the worst part of my day. Fun. I love what I do. What I do to help the hours pass before happy hour. Necessary to support me and my family. Uh, yeah, I would say fun. I like what I do. I'm going to go necessary to support me and my family, but I don't dislike my job at all. Yeah. You just more like prefer someone else. Yeah. Like doing the podcast. <laughs> um what do I look like or what do I look for in a best friend? Someone who is very loyal, someone who I can trust and will come for me if needed, someone who is athletic and loves adventure, someone who has a good sense of humor and loves going out to eat. Uh ba- basing this off of you, I'm gonna go with someone who's very loyal, because we've been friends for like over ten years now. Around that area? Uh, I think I'd probably go loyal as well. Yeah. What, what, is, your pl- what is your plan for Saturday morning? Running errands and being productive, shopping, getting my hair cut, sleeping in, hiking, biking, or jogging. Sleeping in. <laughs> sleeping in, yeah. This Saturday specifically, <laughs> I'm sleeping in. I usually have to work Saturday morning, so none of those pertain, but if I could sleep That's in, fine. oh. What would people say is your worst trait? I anger easily. I'm lazy. I can be aggressive. I'm too trusting and naive. Um, uh, I wouldn't really say either. I don't think I'm trusting. I don't think I'm aggressive. I don't think I'm. I anger easily. And uh, I don't think I'm lazy. I used to be too trusting and naive, but uh, like not anymore. I'm probably just gonna go with that one just for fun. <laughs> okay, same. Um, can I continue? How do you handle daily stresses like being stuck in traffic? This is a long fucking test. <laughs> it is. Um, start yelling at the cars around you. Grr. Be a bit annoyed and splutter about, but then worry that maybe there was an accident and hope no one is hurt. It's okay. I just roll down the window and turn up the radio. I say a deep breath and know that this too shall pass. I roll down the window and turn up the radio. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one too. I just start vibing. Yeah. What kind of clothes do you feel most comfortable in? Baggy clothes, trendy cute outfits, distinguished and sleek styles, or preppy classic looks? Baggy clothes. Just comfy. Yeah, I guess I feel more comfortable in that. I like dressing up though. What is your favorite color? Red, yellow, purple, black. Well, My I'm favorite go color? Black. <laughs> Going purple, I guess, is the closest to blue. If you had to be in a fight, how would you handle yourself? I'm a lover, not a fighter. I don't think anyone dare pick a fight with me. I'd hold my own. I've never been in a fight. Would... So you're a lover, not a fighter. Or you'd hide. I would not hide. I want to fight somebody <laughs> so bad. I'll fight you. I don't want to fight you, though. 
I want to fight someone or, like around the same area as me. Or just spar with the uh, some boxing gloves. Okay, yeah. I don't think anyone dare pick a fight with me. <laughs> so fair. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, be honest. What kind of underwear do you wear? Commando, boxer briefs, or thong? Well, I wear boxer briefs, so I'm gonna go with briefs. Yeah, I'm wearing briefs as well. What is your ch- drink of choice? Champagne, coffee, beer, Coke. Coke. Beer. What would you be voted as in high school? Kindest, most athletic, best dressed, most loyal. I'm go with kind, go with kindest. Most, most athletic. Do you ever lose things? I really, rarely I tend to be organized. Uh, sometimes when I'm quick to find them. Uh, always, I'm often late because I can't find my keys or never. I'm going to go sometimes, but I'm quick to find them. Yeah, I'm going to go with that too. I'm pretty fucking quick. How long is this uh, quiz? <laughs> I don't know. Which one of these is your favorite song? Shake It Off, Taylor Swift, Hound by Elvis Presley, Happy for Our Williams, uh, Village People. I'm going to go with Happy. I'm going to go, fucking, I'm gonna go with Elvis. Okay. Pick a sound. Growl, arf, bow, bark. Okay. Growl. <laughs> uh, bark. Oh, there we go. That was it. (laughs) Of course, we start going fast at that point. What'd you Uh, get? I'm a Labrador Retriever. Same! Uh, (laughs) You're athletic, loyal, and friendly, as well as happy and intelligent person. So you run through all that to be the same fucking thing. (laughs) (laughs) There's probably like fucking four choices for each dog. We didn't even answer a lot of the same questions. How the fuck does that work? Yeah, I have no clue at all. Fuck this quiz A lot lot of answers are really fucking different. Yeah. Well, fuck. We're Labradors, and we're great parents. I'm yep. a little laid back. Grant's perfect. He's a fucking amazing parent. <laughs> um, thank you all for listening, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Yep, see ya.